might be familiar with us. We actually did an interview with you uh, a while back, which was awesome. Um, and then uh, I, I just wanted to say I'm a fan of both of you, both uh, both of you guys, um, particularly because of You're the Worst and because of uh, The Good Place. Um, and phenomenal shows, and, and you guys were phenomenal in that. And again, you're moving on to a phenomenal movie with, with We Broke Up, so I'm, I'm really happy for you guys. Um, in, in fact, for, for Aya, I'm such a fan of You're the Worst. I don't know if you recognize this. Um, this is a notebook that you use, a prop that you use, Gretchen and Heidi, for uh, the episode, Not a Great Bet. Uh, I had to buy the props when they went up on sale uh, because I wanted to own a piece of the show. It meant that much to me um, and, and everything that did to speak to uh, topics like depression and PTSD, fantastic, phenomenal stuff. Um, so so for, for you, uh, Lori, like Gretchen on You're the Worst, is such a realistic character. What draws you to these realistic characters like Gretchen and Lori? Um, I was just saying, it looks like you're being um, smooched by both of us on each side of your head, which is very charming in the background. <laughs> it's, um, the new, it's the same. We got back together, you know, um, so no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, you're our, our child. Um, so we, uh, I, I like, uh, I mean, I think that, you know, I'm interested in, in well-drawn characters who are not just one thing, who, who have um, different levels to them. So I'm just drawn to good writing is basically what it is. So if a character is well-written, I, I wanna play that character versus uh, somebody who is just sort of a one note, whatever. So I just feel like I'm, I'm lucky to follow great writers. That's, that's great to hear. Um, thank you so much for that. For, for William, um, much like I, I was a fan of You're the Worst, I'm a huge fan of Good Place, and I'm waiting for them to put props on sale so I can own a piece of that, but you might have already taken the cheaty calendar and the loafers uh, from, from your time there. But having, <laughs> having, having said that, um, what's, what's really cool about We Broke Up is that Jeff and you have worked together on The Good Place before. Um, so what was it like uh, kind of getting back together and working on something that was completely different than The Good Place, uh, but but just as amazing as well. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's great. Like, it, Jeff is a, he's a, he's a joy to have on set. I mean, he's, he's the kind of guy that should be making things because he's a really good guy and he's really talented. And he's a lot of fun to work with. He's very easy to work with. And, um, and so it was, uh, I, it was it was it was great. It was really great to you know work with him at the helm. You know, like you know he was like one of our ads on the Good Place, and for him to just like be this is you know something that he's made with Laura Jackman, and you know they're 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 the ones that are in charge of, of making this story work, and it's uh it was it was great. I, I and I also just love that. I mean, honestly, Jeff and I have a lot of. Uh, friends in common, like people that we've worked with, people that he went to school with, some friends of mine, and, you know, it, it was just sort of like, oh, okay, so, you know, we sort of surround ourselves with, uh, you know, a similar type of person that is uh, kind, like, sort of at their at their core, and so, um, yeah, it, it was it was just, it was a joy. I, I, I really, I, I love that dude. I, I'm really just so psyched that we got to do this together. That's great to hear. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that you guys did too, because you make a great team, um, honestly, with everything that we saw in, in the film. Um, one of the best aspects of the movie is how realistic it is, I think, and how realistic it views relationships. Um, but it's, it's never, you know, fully cynical about it either. It's, it's still, it's just, it's just real. It's just telling the truth um, about how the nature of relationships. And I love that. Um, having said that, do you think with great movies um, and realistic interpretations of relationships, do you think that movies like We Broke Up are kind of the future of romantic comedies and the traditional like 27 Dresses type movies um, are, are officially dead in this day and age? Um, I'd, love to, I'd love to get both of your thoughts on these. I auditioned for 27 Dresses back in the day. Um, oh, I to... didn't mean <laughs> uh, Fantastic. I'm traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> would have been better with you not letting for like a very small part of like a like you know probably like a 15 line part um so yeah we can trash that movie they didn't hire me um <laughs> i uh 
I don't know. I mean, traditional is a question. I mean, there are great romantic comedies throughout the years. So uh, I, I don't know. I think there's like everything comes in waves. Um, uh, but I think there are some beautiful romantic comedies, especially like in the 80s and broadcast news. And um, so, I, yeah, I'm not sure. But I do think that uh, that things like We Broke Up that take a more realistic re uh, view of relationships and the complicated uh nature of of sharing your life with someone um I, I think is is a trend that we'll continue to see i think the the princess fantasy is it feels um so out of touch these days that we're less interested in in watching that but who knows i don't know i'll watch a disney movie <laughs> well, disney princess let me be clear there's disney plus now too. i don't know <laughs> um but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know that these, you know, the the, the more traditional rom coms are going away or anything like that. But you know, I the thing that I, one of the things I really like about this movie is that it deals with something that is really um, that feels very real and very um, I hope very relatable for a lot of people. But um, it's not um, like dripping with this overwhelming heaviness. I feel like something like this, you know like the subject matter, I, I feel like a lot of things that I've seen that sort of play in this sort of um, genre with, you know, this sort of relationship, it gets really heavy and it gets really hard. And it's really more about the pain of like, well, how can this end, you know? And I think that sometimes, you know, these relationships, when they end, there's, there is something that is, you know, there's, it, it might be the thing that needs to happen. And there might be some freedom or some health to be found afterwards. And so it's, I, I feel like, you know, there's probably a lot of room for, you know, that, you know, fantasy of, of everyone, you know, gets married and lives happily ever after. But there's also, I think there's room for playing for, with things that get a little more complicated while not having it be just like, you know, just something that's, that's, that's just overwhelmed with, with, with heaviness, you know, it's, it's like, there is, you know, a lot of positivity to be played and a lot of love and joy to be found, um, outside of this one thing in someone's life, you know? Of course. Thank you both for your time. You both are fantastic and I love you both. Um, and, and great job with the movie, uh, again. So thank you for everything, both of you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Perspective. Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check this.